And they have all signed it and have presented it to us as an organization in, in appreciation for the support that they received from everybody in this room. So to all of you, Commander, thank you so much for this, for this flag. It will be proudly displayed within our Joint Force headquarters. Thank you, the soldiers. And I was honored to be joined by a bipartisan congressional. You do not try, you do. You execute, you deliver. My old brother, who was a tanker, was an armored officer, often would remind me. Hey, thank you for being here and for your support. And I'm thinking about the world that we live in. appreciate the members of our military family 
and all of our supporting agencies, the groups and the associations who are with us as they always are to express our gratitude to our warriors as they answered our nation's call. We have tremendous support for our military members and their families from all levels of government, local, county, state, and federal. The deployment of the 160th was the largest deployment of Delaware National Guard soldiers since the return of the 198th Signal Battalion. And it was the largest deployment of equipment in recent history of the Delaware National Guard. And we wish the unit well as they departed with over 150 of our best. Now, 44 of these soldiers, which is almost a third, transferred into the unit and reclassified their military occupational specialties in order to be a part of this team. A year ago, we gathered here to send this unit overseas. Whenever I ask for your help, the Guard is always there. One of the Barry mentioned all the awards and recognitions that they received, and I went through that list, Commander Mears, and just incredible. And to you, First Sergeant Beauchamp, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for bringing them whole. This is a dangerous world that we live in. And you've brought them all home for their families and for the rest of us. Families know this. But I wish every Delawarean knew how many of you tried to be a part of this, have succeeded as a part of this, and have put your whole heart and life at risk to be a part of this. You are young, you are diverse, you are dedicated, you are Delawareans. And those of you who aren't Delawareans, I invite you to come and join us in Delaware.